today I've been thinking so much, so much about things that hold people back. Um, I've been thinking about myself in particular. I know I have things I need to let go. And I've been hearing a lot of readers who say that Libras right now are being held back, but it's not just Libras hanging on to things. It's other signs as well. So I thought, well, why don't I ask the cards, how do we let go? How do we let go of past traumas? Oh, and I just wanted to say I'm a Libra sun and moon, um, Leo rising. So I started laying down cards. I got yes. Something's holding you back. Be assertive about it. Be assertive in letting go. Only then can you go through the recovery, the healing. The situation will improve and there will be big, happy changes. So then I decided to dive deeper And uh, funnily enough, the first card that came up was the addictions card, the devil. And it came up upside down and it says overcoming blocked growth, ending addictions, having an epiphany, things being revealed. So, I thought, well, that's good. I want this to be revealed. I want to find out what have I been doing wrong? What do I need to do? What do you need to do as a Libra to let go? What do we all need to do to let go of things from our past that we don't want to think about anymore? The bottom card being bound up, but we can get out. We can unbind ourselves. Okay, and only then can we get some sort of justice happening in our lives. It's like justice between myself and I. These things I talk to myself about, putting myself down for, gee, why was I in that abusive situation in the first place? How long did I hang in? Should I have left earlier? All that kind of negative talking bad about myself after being abused. So what the cards told me was to go back in the past, look at the traumas from childhood and see what kind of patterns this brings up for you. Were you abused as a child? Were you screamed at unnecessarily? Were you hit and wondering why? Were you hit before you were even old enough to be rational about things and understand? Um, in my case, yes. In yours, I don't know, it might, something terrible might have happened to you that changed you, um, that affected you and what happened to you as an adult as a result. The voices in your head, the things that it seems impossible to get rid of, but we can, we can let these things go. Um, there's a big theme running through the cards that I pulled um, moving on from past regrets, healing, growth, acceptance, forgiveness. This card appeared upside down. Okay. Um, 
what happens, I think, to me and maybe to you, if you have uh, been a victim of some sort of abuse, um, you feel easily overwhelmed. You feel like there's just too much to handle at once. You go back and forth about things. As a Libra, I know that's one of my traits that I I hate, but yet I love because it means that I look at all sides of the problem. Okay, it, it told me next that I would be able to attain happiness and have a good family life and love. Um, that is, if, if I take advantage of new ideas, if I go back to my childhood and the good feelings I had in childhood, the feelings I had when I felt free and happy before any abuse happened. Okay, so the difficulty is that before you let go, there is so much misery. Um, Sometimes it just affect, well, it can affect every part of our uh, being from our feelings of security with money, some people, because they're holding on to things, also hold on to a certain misery about money. In other words, they don't believe they deserve it. They just don't believe they deserve love or money or much of anything. They're holding on to this terrible idea of themselves that came from something outside of themselves. So the way out of it the way to attain the happiness is to take advantage of a new opportunity. You have to see the signs. You have to see that there is an opportunity and then embrace it and know that you deserve it. That you deserve to take somebody up on this idea or the idea might be yours and you might think, okay, I can do this. This is my idea. It's a good idea. I'm going to proceed on. Um, got another ace here. New beginnings. And it looks like there is a lot of mental clarity, things coming into focus after you let go. After you let go, after you unbind yourself and This card, the Eight of Cups, a desire to leave something behind. Escape, travel. Well, I have used every method on earth to try to escape my past. And I realize now I just have to really, really face it. Stop talking with myself badly stop going to bed and worrying about everything I did wrong, stop waking, waking up and having regrets about things I have done in the past. It's time for all of us to be kind to ourselves and really to move on, unchain ourselves and let ourselves be, manifest the good, know that we deserve it and move on in life. So I'm very grateful to my angels. I hold my hands up high to heaven and thank God for my wife and for knowing all of you. And I'm so happy that you're here listening and watching this. And I hope it has some meaning for you. I love all of you. Have a beautiful day.